Hey everybody, it's your favorite friend and fiend, Kenneth Ramon, back here again in the Cruiser Bruiser, and I'm back with you this time with another awesome tacular song reaction, song review for you guys. Now, you guys, I don't know how many of my followers are Quiet Riot fans, but um, I just have to say, these guys are like my favorite. Like, out of all like the 80s hair metal bands, these guys, man, I always love their stuff, man. I could listen to their albums back to back, non-stop, over and over again, and never gets old. Every time they come out, you know, close by, like if they hit like the Whiskey A Go Go or the Rainbow, I always have to make an exception to go out and see them. Love these. I don't even care who's in the band. Every time I've seen them, they've had different members come and go. It was always the same guitar player. It was always Alex Grossi with them, but always had like a rotating uh, lineup of members just because some have passed on and you know some have left the band they had like a, a number of singers after their original singer passed away but anyways you guys i've always been a huge quiet riot fan and uh the news just broke out that quiet riot have a new song not only that though it's like the original uh singer and the original drummer are back. And also Rudy Sarzo, original bass player, plays on this track. And they have uh, Alex Grossi, I believe, on guitar. Now, you guys, um, the story goes, I did read a little bit about it. I haven't heard the song yet. But the story goes that um, Alex came across like an old iPod that had like a demo that he and uh, Kevin Dubrow, the original singer, had recorded in, uh, I, I think, was it 2003? You know, not not too far off, and like uh, before he passed away, and um, then they lost uh, this demo. They didn't know where it was, and then all of a sudden they recovered like the old iPod that had the song on it in 2021, and that's been like the biggest uh, mission is like uh, getting this song like touched up, you know, re-recorded, mastered, you know. So they spent like a good year or so on this song. And now it's finally out for, like, the fans to enjoy. It's like Quiet Riot's gift to the fans. So, anyways, you guys, I'm going to stop rambling right now. I'm just going to listen to this bad boy. I'm so excited. Um, I got it right here. I got it up on my phone. Gosh, you guys, I am super, super stoked. You know what's funny? Um, my last band practice, I'm in an 80s hair uh, metal cover band called the Hot Tub Metal Machine. My guitarist asked me, Kenneth, if... um. You could choose like any band to like sing a song with. Who would it be? And I said Quiet Riot. And then he's like, I knew you were going to say that. But out of all the bands, man, Quiet Riot. I'm like, dude, I fucking love their songs, dude. I love Quiet Riot. But yeah, true story. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I Can't Hold On is the name of the song. Well, let's give it a play. Right. Meow. All right, sounds like you got a little ballad going. Little acoustic guitar, little bass in there. Ooh, little slide guitar, I like that. God, oh, it's so good to hear his voice again. Don't know where I'm going. But if I stay, I should be going. Oh. Yes, sir. I can't hold on. I can't hold on. I can't hold on one more night. Woo! Yeah. It's like damned if you do, damned if you don't.
Got the tambourine in there. Klaus is catching you guys. I'm surprised this hasn't been released. This is awesome. Wow! A little guitar solo here. I like it, man. It's kind of got like a Robbie Krieger type of feel there. I dig it. Oh, I love the highs. Whoever's singing the backup, I love that. This song is so sweet, you guys. Yes! Oh God, the, the tears, guys. The tears are flowing, man. Oh, this is so emotional. Woo. I love that. The woohoos, I love that. Okay. Love it. Oh my god, you guys. That's some classic quiet riot right there. Jeez, with the woohoos and like the the awesome like harmonies and backup vocals there. Gosh, you guys. All right, let me take a second to gather myself here. I'm getting all emotional, man, listening to this. And let's talk about this song. Now, first off, you guys, I love the song's message, man. It's like a, a damned if you do, damned if you don't like type of situation, you know. Like, I can't stay, but I can't leave, you know? And I just can't go on, you know, with this, like, situation that I'm in, you know? And we've all been there in life, you know? Whether it's relationships, you know, whether it's just, you know, the work environment, getting, escaping from a toxic environment that's just, like, consuming you. Like, you know, we've all been there where we just tell ourselves, you know, I just can't go on, you know? I've been here for so long you know, like this road that I've taken, it's just, it's taken this turn that I just, I could barely hang on, you know, I want to hang on because I've been here for so long, but it's just, it's time, man, it's time to move on, I just can't hold on anymore, I love that message, um, there's just, it's like some classic Quiet Riot stuff here, and I'm just so shocked that this hasn't been released, well, like I was saying earlier, I had read that, um, this was like a recording that was lost, you know, for many years, and now it's, finally been found and like so cool man you know so cool and like what a time to come across this recording rudy is back in the band so you have like three of the classic members back in in the band um on this recording and alex grossi's been with them for many many years right have we hit the 20 year mark i mean he's been in the band the longest the longest running guitarist I believe that's correct. I mean, I, like, as far as, like, I was telling you guys earlier, every time I've seen them, he's been in the band. You know, they've had rotating singers. Um, you know, uh, now Rudy's back in the band, so Chuck has um, moved on to his solo career, and then uh, Frankie Benali has passed away, so they've had you know, a couple drummers coming in and out. So now, um, yeah, it's just like Alex is like that last man standing that's been with them for so long, you know, he was in the band with Frankie, he's in the band with Kevin, you know, like, and now with Rudy, he's been with there with like all the classic members, so it's like pretty, pretty cool, you know, that he's just still with them recording these songs, you know, and 
it's just it's so cool man i i have massive respect for that guy i could go on and on you know with like his amount of work and the people that he's collaborated with i just think it's so amazing but um yeah for quiet riot uh to like go back at the studio and revisit this song is pretty dang amazing you know and um I did like see some of the video without listening to the song itself and like I was seeing like some of like the recording process. I'm gonna have to go back and check out the video. I'm not sure how to react to videos yet, you guys. That's why I, I just react to the song itself. And um but anyways, um I kinda like doing it that way. So that way I paint my own picture of what's going on with like the lyrics and like the tone of the music but anyways you guys i did see some of the video with like the audio muted and um i saw like uh regina who's uh frankie banali's wife you know just smacking that tambourine in the studio i love that how she's in the song as well and um aj who's um the rhythm guitarist for Steven Adler of Guns N' Roses, uh, he helped produce this uh, this song, so I think that's really dang cool. And uh, just massive love, man, massive love. Like I, as like uh, I've been saying, I don't know how many of like my followers follow Quiet Riot and this type of music, but it's it's a genre that's near and dear to heart. It's a band that's near and dear to heart, and these guys always have my support, no matter what. And um, that being said, you guys, I got—I have to rate this song. I'm just so blown away by it. I never, like, would have thought that, like, a song like this would be out there, you know? Like, like how come this hasn't been released? Well, now I know, you know, it's been lost for, for a good amount of time. But it's just, wow, so awesome, man. So awesome that this finally got the, the release it deserved. And um, I know so many Quiet Riot fans are super stoked to hear this song. Let me know what you guys think of this song. Down in the comment section down below, let's have a conversation about it. I'd love to because I'm just blown away. I'm speechless, you guys. I'm sure I'm rambling, rambling off because I just don't have the words to describe like how much um, joy and uh, how it's just it's so heartwarming. This song, you guys, I'm like touched by this song. Anyways, you guys, um, yeah, that being said, I want to give this song solid 5 out of 5. Crisscross awesome sauce, you guys. This is classic Quiet Riot, man. Love the harmonies at the end, you know, the backing vocals. I'm not sure who did it. I'd have to look that up. But dang, you guys, I just, I love it, man. So good to hear Kevin and the you know, the guys. A new Quiet Riot song, you know, with, you know, the three classic members, just so badass, you guys. And um, anyways, you guys, I also, in more like Quiet Riot news, I also got the new book that uh, Missy Whitney, the person who ran the fan club for Quiet Riot and Debro back in the 80s, she wrote a new book, and I've been meaning to unbox it for you guys. I got like the whole package, came with like a bunch of extra goodies, so... um. Stay tuned. I really want to share with you guys on um, this awesome package that I got, you know, from uh, a, a, a true Quiet Riot fan from back of the day who's writing about her experiences and then running the fan club. I just think it's freaking awesome, you guys. I cannot wait to share um, the book. You know, can't wait to unbox it with you guys. So anyways, you guys, um, let me know what you guys thought of this song. And um, do you love Quiet Riot as much as I love Quiet Riot? If they're coming out to your hometown, are you going to go see them and rock out? It's all about the songs, you guys. You know, I mean, there's been members that have come and gone, members who've passed away. But it's all about those songs and keeping that music alive. And I'm all for it, man. Quiet Riot, no matter who's in the band, I am there, okay? Anyways, you guys, uh, that is my reaction. That is my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Kenneth Ramone, signing off. Bang! Your head. <laughs>